So we're here at the Royal Museum of Fine Arts in Brussels, looking at this magnificent painting by Jacques Louis David Very called magnificent. The Death of Marat. The Death of Marat. This was painted in 1793. Yes. And 1793, for those of you who may not know, this was the height of the terror in France, yes. spearheaded by oh, Robespierre. It was a time of deep conviction of counter-revolutionaries, and times the plagued the, by death. Just plagued by death. The high density of executions that took place during this period of time was just jarring. I mean, this is this period is why we remember the guillotine as such a symbolic part yes. of the revolution. And it's during this time that we also take a moment to remember Marat in this painting by David. Mm. Now, now, as we know, Marat was a journalist for the French for a French revolutionary newspaper, and. What he did was he would compile lists of people mm. that he deemed to be counter-revolutionaries yes. or people mm. against the revolutionary yeah, against resistance. The revolution. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and what he would do is he would make lists and turn them in, and then just like that, within a few days, they would be sent to the, the guillotine. Executed. Yeah. They were, to the guillotine. I mean, it was a bit. He it sent was, so many people. To, oh, yeah. It was. He sent yeah, so many amazing. people to the guillotine that one could say that he was a major contributor to the height of the terror in France. I mean, even in his condition, which we can touch upon later, but. The fact that he was quite a mass murderer, I mean, he named so many people to the guillotine, and it was just, it was horrible, it yes. really was. And his, his choice of weapon was his pen and his words, yes, but those yes, were just as effective as the guillotine, because that's how those convicted people ended up there in I mean, the I mean, place. we see that in the painting, his oh, pen and paper, obviously, just there. It's, it's just... like the exquisite rendition mm -hmm. of who Marat was and what he did by David was just an excellent piece of propaganda to portray him as a martyrdom for the French revolutionary yes, yes. cause. Um, if I can, if I may, I mean... Oh, take, take it away. Um, he's in a bathtub and now. We're yes, thinking, now why, yeah, yeah, why, why is he in a bathtub? Yeah, well, um, he had a skin condition, which I said earlier. Yes. Now, this skin condition, it required him to soak in the bathtub. It would, yes. That would give him his only relief. And, yeah. and so he, he mm -hmm. contracted this said skin condition, yeah. thank you very much, mm -hmm. by hiding from French officials... Um, in the French sewers, which were obviously sewers. not the cleanest of places. Now, it was, he, it he was really so, yeah. a mistake oh, on his part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it really but was. To be fair, it was the only place he could hide mm -hmm. at the time yeah. because he was such he was so revolutionary that he mm -hmm. was actually in danger um, mm -hmm. by the French um, police force. Yeah, the French police force were just hot on his tail, yes. and I mean, so this is why he was soaking this bathtub in the moment of his death. Now, yes. see, so now. Notice that letter that he's holding in his left mm -hmm. hand. See, you'd think that because he compiled so many lists of people to be sent to the guillotine, this is in fact a false letter of introduction above oh, is a this, woman is named that, uh, of Charlotte Corday. Yeah, yes. who indeed was the person who assassinated him. Oh, I mean, yes. See, what happened was she came up to his house uh, as he had an open door policy. Mm -hmm. Now, he did this so that people could give him lists of names of, of names. people who yes. they deemed to be counter revolutionaries. And Charlotte Corday really took advantage yes. of this, walked right see, into his house, and. Yeah, see, his whole role of truly being a friend of the revolutionary people, which is consequently what his newspaper was called, backfired on him as she came in, handed him the letter, stabbed him mercilessly in the chest, as you can mm -hmm, see, yeah. and left the knife. Bloodied, laying, on, bloodied, bloodied on, on the, the floor. floor. Just terrible. I mean, you could really see how there's blood. He's the, His bathtub presumably is soaked with blood. We could see a little bit of the blood coming on the sheets. Yes, the richness of that color on those sheets really I mean, just shows how how fresh, as one could say, mm -hmm. that kill was. That mm -hmm. it, it had just happened, mm -hmm. and Mraz slowly dying, and in fact probably already dead. His yes, but in a way, we could see kind of in a peaceful death. I mean, the look at his face, it's very, like, calmly put... You uh, can say it's, leaning it's on angelic. Right. He what is, did you say? He yes. is, I mean, if we look at Marat, he was definitely not this young or this ideal when he was alive. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, skin, David really, really portrays Marat as an angelic figure. Yes, and that's why this is such a good example of David's uh, propaganda art pieces, because he portrayed Surely, yes. an old sort of emaciated figure due to a skin condition mm -hmm. in such an angelic, yes, I mean, prophetic, almost almost Christ-like Christ -like. wouldn't you say? I, yes. I would definitely yes. say, I mean... In a way that evoked such political strength and yeah, nationalism in, in, in the way, revolutionary it was, cause. David was able to put his political agenda into this painting and oh, my he, really, exactly. yes, he really was able to kind of replace this old religious martyrdom of Jesus with this new political martyrdom yes, of Marat. See, even the way he sprawled in his bathtub, it almost looks like Jesus in 
Pieta. The Pieta by Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Yes, 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 exactly. See, now, what really plays up Marat's martyrdom and sort of sense of dying for the people was, mm -hmm. one, look at how the shadow falls upon his idealized musculature. Mm -hmm. It really shows that he yeah. was an able-bodied man helping out the revolution. You can see that he died on the job. You know, his pen's yeah, writing right you know, is in his writing mm -hmm. hand. So you can tell that he was actually busy at work. And Indeed, the yes, way his yes. face is pointed towards us really mm -hmm. shows us that David wanted to let the French people know that he, that this man died for us. He In the same way us, that yes. Jesus' head was facing up, he died for God. He died for God. Marat and... died for us. He was, he died so that the French revolutionary cause would remain. This was truly a beautiful piece from the French Revolution. I mean, yes, probably definitely. one of the first things I think about when I think of the terror oh, led yes. by Maximilien Robespierre is this painting. I mean, the way the way it was mass published during this time, and it really, really was a, kind of a symbol of hope for the people, a symbol of fighting back that we we need to do this, and that Jack Louis David did this perfectly. He did it perfectly. And this painting really is kind of a. It's a very tragic scene of a, I would say, a twisted man for all that he had done, but still it remains very tragic and a powerful message to the people. Yes.